The WBO has asked Anthony Yard, number one rated challenger, to face Sergei Kovalev for the mandatory shot at his light heavyweight championship. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Remstar Says So. Please take this opportunity to subscribe to this channel, hit like, leave me a comment and share these videos. So Anthony Yard has been made the mandatory challenger to Sergei Kovalev's WBO light heavyweight championship after only 18 fights. Um, I think it's going to be a strange one up in that Queensbury Promotions office. Um, you know, Frank Warren and Tunde Ajayi and Anthony Yard have got a huge dilemma now. Do they take this opportunity to go and fight Kovalev? Do they pass it up? If they turn the opportunity down, they'll probably have to start somewhere near the beginning um, and work their way back up again. But that might not be the worst thing. Anthony Yard has only had 12 amateur fights and 18 professional fights, and he may find himself out of his depth. I mean, we all know what Andre Ward did to Kovalev back in the day, but... Andre Ward and Anthony Yard are two different types of fighters. I feel like at 27 years old, I just don't understand what the rush is for Anthony Yard. But at the same time, you know, he's worked hard to get himself into this position. And I can imagine he's going to be telling Tundi Ajayi and Frank Warren that he's ready for the fight. I don't know if Tunde or Frank Warren believes that Anthony Yard is ready um, and also, let's not forget, Anthony Yard is the poster boy, sort of, for BT Sports. I mean, I understand that Tyson Fury has just come back now, but with that deal that Tyson Fury has done signing his life away to Bob Arum and ESPN, Tyson Fury is going to be fighting majority, if not all of his fights in America now. Um, so BT Sports still need a star to carry their Saturday night fights. Um, and Anthony Yard is probably that. Billy Joe Saunders, we don't really know what the hell's happening with him. And he doesn't have a title. Uh, so, you know, who is the star at BT? Is it is it Billy Joe? Is it Anthony Yard? Who knows? We, we do know that Anthony Yard is in the limelight. Sergei Kovalev is probably licking his lips right now, thinking to himself, bring him on. Because, you know... He's probably thinking to himself, let me take the young talent while he can. But let's not forget Sergei Kovalev. He lost in August of last year. He got knocked out by Elder Alvarez. But he did uh, sort of avenge the loss um, and get that WBO strap back in February of this year um, in a unanimous decision win. When you look at Kovalev's record, it's 33 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw. Um, and he's got a stellar amateur pedigree. Me, personally, if I was the advisor, manager or promoter of Anthony Yard, I would probably say, turn the fight down. I would just say that, you know, at 27 years old, you're only going to get better. Um, and there's a big risk of Anthony, L of Anthony Yard taking an L in this one. Yes, he's going to have the power advantage. Um, and he might even have the agility and speed. But what he definitely doesn't have is the ring craftsmanship um, and the experience of going up against stellar world-level champions um, and the highest level. Even when you looked at Anthony Yard's last fight, people were criticising him about the level of opposition that he's been fighting. Um, but to me, I think it's a load of BS as well, because they want Anthony Yard to fight the likes of Bouaxi, Once Upon a Time, Buglioni and Jose Burton, And he's fighting at international level. And most of these guys are still fighting at British and European level. So I don't know. But my advice to Anthony Yard is maybe let this one slip. Build yourself up again over the next sort of year to 18 months. And then try and get a title shot off the back of that. What we do know is that title shots do not come around very often. And he's probably telling Tundai Ajayi to let him take the fight. And Frank Warren. Um, I don't know. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts. Do you think he should take the fight? Do you think he should let this one slide and come back later when he's more seasoned? Um, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe. That's the end of the show because Remstar says so.